going on? Dr. Gonzo O'Boogie back again for another video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at some Star Wars VHS's and uh, mainly we're going to be just taking a look at these three Star Wars trilogy box sets that I have on VHS but in the process of doing that we're sort of going to be going through the history of Star Wars releases on VHS. So let me start back to what I think is the earliest release of the Star Wars films on VHS and I actually only have one example to show and it's not part of these box sets. And this is the old CBS Fox releases of the Star Wars films. I only have The Empire Strikes Back but one day I would like to get the um, other two to add to this. Um, A New Hope and uh, Return of the Jedi It'd be really cool, but these are just classic looking VHS tapes. I love the old CBS Fox design They made a lot of VHS tapes in the 80s that have this same design to them So if you put them next to each other on a shelf, they look very uniform just very nice VHS tapes here always love the CBS Fox releases, but I think these are the earliest releases of the Star Wars films on VHS. You guys can let me know about that in the comments if I'm wrong. These tapes were released in 1984, I think. So that's pretty early. Good stuff here. Awesome film. Cool VHS release. Well, let's move on here to the first Star Wars trilogy box set. So let me clear some of these other ones out real quick. So this is the first Star Wars trilogy box set I think that was ever released. And this is probably the nicest Star Wars box set that I've ever seen. Not just on VHS, but just in general. They really went all out with this box set and made just a beautiful and awesome looking box set. One of my favorite box sets in my whole collection actually. The artwork on this is really nice. Let's just take a look at this real quick. Got artwork on all four sides, depicting images from all three of the movies. So let's open this up and take a better look at it. So that's the sleeve it comes with, kind of just slides off the top of it there. And we're left with this, which is just really nice. It almost comes in like a display that you can put on your shelf. So this is just one of my favorite box sets to display because you can display it in so many ways. But it has these um, side panel things that have some information about Star Wars and other stuff like that on it, which is really awesome. You don't get stuff like that in box sets anymore. So let's take the VHSs out and have a look at these. And um, these are also CBS Fox releases, as you guys can see, but they differ a little bit from the um, classic ones, as you guys can see with The Empire Strikes Back. And this release here, this has artwork featuring like the font used on the movie poster and just other stuff like that. It's, it's a little bit more than just your typical regular CBS Fox release. But they use the um, same artwork as the older ones, which I'll do a comparison with these two right here. So these two basically have the same artwork. This one definitely is a lot brighter and a little bit more vibrant. And I just think it looks better in general. This one could be aged a little bit more, but honestly I just think that this is just better quality um, photo they used on the uh, box set releases. Let's see how different the backs are. Yeah, and the backs are a lot different too. So really cool stuff there. Let's take a look at all three of these releases though from this box set. So let me get all these out for you guys. Take a look at the awesome artwork on the front of these. Just really great stuff here. Classic movie poster designs for all three of the movies and you can't go wrong with that. I heard that this year we might finally be getting the original Star Wars trilogy, the theatrical cuts of the original trilogy on Blu-ray for the 40th anniversary of Star Wars. I hope we do, and really, even if, if they put, a, put those out with any artwork, that, that's fine. I'm just happy to get those released, honestly. 
But if they put those out, they should use artwork like this because these just look so nice. These are probably the best looking Star Wars VHS tapes in my opinion. So go through each one really quickly and just take a look at the artwork. This is Star Wars, also known as Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. Awesome cover design there and just cool all around. Empire Strikes Back. And Return of the Jedi. So just great stuff. Just an awesome Star Wars trilogy box set. It's kind of pricey. If you guys want to pick this one up, it's probably the uh, most expensive out of all these box sets that I'm about to show you guys. But it's worth picking up if you guys are a Star Wars fan. And that though that box set comes with, of course, all of the um, original theatrical cuts, basically. So it's it's it, when I want to watch the original theatrical cuts. That's usually the box set that I go to, even though this box set also comes with the original theatrical cuts. So this is an awesome box set to own too, and I think this is the last time the original theatrical cuts of the Star Wars movie got a of the Star Wars movies got a box set like trilogy release like this. But hopefully we get something similar to this this year. So let's take a look at this box set. Love the um, designs on these. I remember seeing this box set a lot in the video stores when I was growing up. So this is probably the box set I remember the most from when I was younger until the um, DVD box sets came out. Really cool stuff here. Let's take a look at the separate tapes inside of here. And this just has your classic like box set sleeve. It's a little bit more basic than the last box set, but um, I still really like it. It's a really nice box set sleeve, like hard cardboard, just quality stuff there. So let's just line all these up like we did the last time and take a look at the cover art. I really like the cover artwork on these two. Really fun. And like I said, I just remember seeing these at the video store all the time. So just very nostalgic for me to actually, when did this box set come out? The um, first one that I showed you guys came out in 88. So late 80s, that box set came out. And this one came out in, I think, 95. So yeah, this was a mid-90s box set. And that's when I would have been younger. So... Definitely why I remember seeing this one a lot, but I love the uh, cover art on these um, designs. So let's take a look at each one. You got Star Wars and New Hope, Darth Vader on the cover, my favorite Star Wars character. Cool stuff. The Empire Strikes Back with the Stormtrooper on the front. And for Return of the Jedi, we got Yoda on the front, but also a cool picture. Uh, Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker having a lightsaber duel. Classic stuff there. And just really nice looking uh, VHS tapes. I would say I this is close to being just as good as the last box set. But I just like the last box set a little bit more. So let's move on to the most recent Star Wars VHS box set. And this is probably the last box set. The last releases the Star Wars films got on VHS is what I'm trying to say. And this came out in 2000. So right around the time Star Wars Episode 1 was coming out. So really cool stuff here. Show you guys the artwork on this. Not as big of a fan of the artwork on this one as I am with the other two, but it's still not that bad. This has Sort of like with the first box set, this has a plastic slip thing that comes off. Give you guys a look at that. Pretty cool. And then inside, you just kind of got a classic looking box set now. So let's take these tapes out and take a look at them. And I think these are definitely the weakest artwork out of any of these VHS tapes that I've showed you guys so far just very basic and boring here honestly I feel like they could have came up with something a little bit better than this but still I guess it could be worse 
but definitely not as interesting as the artwork on the other box sets or the other Star Wars releases. So let's again take a look at each one of these tapes a little bit better. We got Star Wars and New Hope. The Empire Strikes Back. And Return of the Jedi. And if you guys are wondering, actually my favorite Star Wars movie is A New Hope. Just such a classic film. One of the best films ever made, which, you know, of course, such a popular film. Probably one of the most popular films ever made, too. Just love the Star Wars movies. And I usually watch all three of these. And even, I actually watch all the Star Wars movies at least like once a year. I just always have fun watching these. So, before I end this video, let's just sort of take a look at the evolution of all the different incarnations of the Star Wars tapes here and I'll use um, The Empire Strikes Back as my example since I have four releases of that so this is the first release we got really cool artwork there the second release like I said basically the same artwork but even better so the third release and there could have been some other Star Wars tape releases too. These are just the one. These are just the ones that I have in my collection. And then the last release there, so you can kind of see the evolution of the artwork here. In my opinion, it gets worse as they go on. I think they start off really strong using just beautifully painted movie poster artwork. These ones are cool, a little bit more simplified, but still, for some reason, I really like those. Probably out of nostalgia. And then these ones, the uh, last box that I show you guys, just a little bit bland, you know. I feel like they could have done something a little bit more exciting, but I think they're just kind of going with the um, design that they were sort of using with Star Wars Episode One VHS tape release. So, all right, guys, that was it for this video. Like always, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give this video a big old thumbs up or leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time.